Hello YouTube and the Tribe of the Horror Realm. This is a video entry to Mr. Snickers contest. Um, Bill's giving out a horrible, horrible prize. It's not worth it. You don't want to enter. What is it? Shh, play along. <laughs> Alright, fine. He's giving out some really awesome steel books, a couple horror steel books, demons. And Return of the Living Dead, both UK only releases um, for his first contest. Really um, some excellent stuff. Really nice. And he wants to know what is the worst DVD covers out there. And um, I went digging up the stairs in that hot inferno of a room, over 100 degrees probably up there looking for him. How dedicated he is. Oh, there's a lot of bad covers. I know <laughs> he had brought up his cover, Real Genius, and that one is definitely one of the worst covers made. But um, here are a few of them um, that I selected three. Uh, one of them has already been um, brought out by Jay on my eyes, are open 78, but I had to add my two cents, and that is the Near Dark cover. This, I'm sorry, this Twilight, this Twilight esque cover is so misleading. This is a great vampire film. It is brutal. It is just gory as all hell. And I just imagine that this cover and the tweeners that happen to be diddy bopping through Walmart and see this thing and stop like oh, put, that's too easy. you know, pull out their, their cell phone with a little rhinestones on it, text their friends, OMG, I found a vampire movie. Yeah. The guy looks like Edward. <laughs> LOLs. We should buy it. This guy's a lot better looking than Edward, though. <laughs> <laughs> then they, they end up getting this movie home, and then they get to the bar scene, and they're like, OMG, I'm going to throw up. <laughs> why, why did they make me watch this? <laughs> oh, Jessica, stop. I'm scared. <laughs> so, you know, it's, it's a horrible cover. This thing here, I'm probably going to even change it to another cover of some sort. I don't even think Near Dark has ever had really good um, marketing uh, ads at all. I don't even like the cover with um, Severin all burnt up and stuff like that. I just don't think it's all that great. Uh, the next one, now I just hate bad Photoshop. Um, I have a design degree and I've seen a lot of bad Photoshop. Um, sometimes I don't know why they just don't stick with original art. Um, one of them, Willy Wonker and the Chocolate Factory. Honestly, you really had to just do this stupid Photoshop with Charlie Bucket here and wearing his little uh, sweater, and you got you got to throw in all this other stuff in the, the, the sides here to like say, oh yeah. And not only that, if you've never seen the movie, and you know most people have, but you're practically giving away half the stuff here too, you know. And then just Photoshopping a couple of the creepy Oompa Loompas at the top. Um, it just was a horrible, horrible ad. And especially if you've seen both the original movie poster and the re-release movie poster for this, the one sheets, a lot better. Finally, um, this is a little step up from the original snapper case, but it's pretty much the same damn thing. And that's a Christmas story. Honestly, you really want that kid's face blazed on the DVD. And, you know, it's, it, it just, it's horrible, especially... And I don't know if this even has it. I have. I took my copy and I printed a, a custom cover out of the original artwork of the DVD, which had um, a painted cover with a leg lamp and Ralphie in his uh, pink pajamas, bunny pajamas, and the parents going in different directions. If you don't know what I'm talking about, just Google image search Christmas story one sheet and you'll see the original artwork. It was done for the DVD, the first release of it. It's an awesome painted cover, 
And then they actually went in the next release and the one after that and decided to give you this. Again, just crappy Photoshop. I mean, even the resolution of this picture is not very good to have for its front cover. So those are the three entries for this. Uh, thank you very much, Bill, for doing this great contest. And um, hopefully we win. It's here for Team Kenny. Woo! Yay! Bye-bye.